Hey kids, welcome to Soma's VBS Online. It is virtual like everything is, and we need you to get ready for the day. So what do you need to get? We've done it every day so far. What do you need to do? You need to get number one, your box. You gotta grab your box and you need it because we're gonna grab the folder that's inside. Now remember, you don't need that thing. You really just need the folder. So I'm gonna grab my folder. Yep, that's it. Should look just like this one. So I want you to grab it. Be ready for it because we are going to be digging into everything that is within this folder today. And we have so many amazing things that we're going to be doing today. I want you to strap in. I want you to be prepared. But before we get going, we got to pray. Bow your head. Close your eyes. Let's do it. Jesus, thank you that so far you have shown us so much about who you are. Use us for your glory. Help us to see you clearly and help us to fall in deep love with you. Be our king. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Have an amazing day. Strap in because we have a fun ride today. What have you been up to? I was just playing a game. I love games. I do too. They're so much fun. Would you like to play a game with the kids? Yeah, I sure would. How do we play? I'll ask a question and you decide on the two possible answers. Then the kids will help you figure out which one is right. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Let's try it. Okay, the first question is this. God made the whole world a beautiful and perfect place and put the first two people in a garden called what? Hmm, let's see. It was either the Garden of Eden or the 
Garden of Eden. Boys and girls, which do you think it was? The Garden of Eden or the Garden of Eden? Ooh, ooh, I know the answer. I know the answer. It's the Garden of Eden. Okay. Question two. The first people, Adam and Eve, ate something God told them not to. What was it? Hmm. I think it was either a piece of fruit or a pepperoni pizza. Boy, I do love pepperoni pizza. Boys and girls, do you think it was a fruit or pizza? I know, I know. It was a fruit. Good job, Sonny. Question three. When you don't obey God, it's called what? Hmm. It's called either sin or smiles. Calm down over there, Sonny. Anyway, do you think it's called sin or smiles when you don't obey God? It's called sin. I know, I know. Okay. Here's the next question. God's son Jesus came to earth to save sinners. Jesus is called Emmanuel, which means what? Hmm, it means either God with us or man with us. Boys and girls, which do you think? I know this one. It is God with us. Good job, Sonny. Okay, here's our last question. We talked about A standing for admit. We admit we sinned. What does B stand for? Hmm, it means either be good or believe. Boys and girls, do you think the B in ABFR stands for be good or believe? Hmm, believe. That's right. Well, this sure was fun to play our game. Yep, and I hope all our boys and girls know God loves them and wants them to be a child of God. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, Sonny. Thanks for playing with us. You bet. I'm going to go surfing now. See you later. Hello again, boys and girls. We've got a very special Lighthouse lesson presentation today uh, by Pastor John. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip right straight through to our treasure verse of the day. If you would, take out packet number four out of your treasure chest, and you'll see right there on the front of packet number four is your treasure verse for the day. Or if you'll look up here on the board, you can read it from there as well. So follow along with me or read it with me. It says, but God shows his love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. <clears throat> Say it with me one more time. But God shows his love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Now, if you will, look back in your treasure chest, pull out your treasure map again, and this time I want you to get out your sheet of medallions and I want you to find the heart medallion. Let me get into my treasure chest and pull mine out. It's the medallion that has the heart on it that says Emmanuel. Now I want you to look at your treasure map and I want you to find day number four, which will be right here. And I want you to put your medallion on there for day number four. All right, boys and girls, like I told you in the beginning, we have a very special Lighthouse lesson for today. And it'll be one of the best ones uh, that we've had for Vacation Bible School so far. So I want you to sit back now and listen to a very special story that Pastor John is going to share with us. 
Hey kids, this is Pastor John once again, and I am so glad that you have made it through our Vacation Bible School virtually. It has been a crazy ride, and it has been a fun adventure to be able to look for the treasure of what God wants to give you. Remember day one, we talked about how great God is, and that there's only one God. There's all these idols that people want to make in the world, but there really is only one God. And then on day two, do you remember we talked about how God is almighty, how he's holy, how he's powerful, how he is present with you and I, and how amazing that God is so strong and mighty that he can take care of love and be with you and I. Remember day three? Day three was a great day because we talked about how God is our ruler. He's our king. And remember, there is no king uh, that doesn't have a kingdom. Every king has a kingdom. And that means that you and I have the opportunity to be a part of that kingdom. And he invites you into it. But then we talked about day four. And this is the key one. This is the big one. Day four is Emmanuel. Do you remember? God is Emmanuel. That means he's with us. That's what it means. If you have a friend or a family member whose name is Emmanuel, his name means God is with us. How amazing that God came from heaven to earth to take the bad things that you've done to your brother or your sister or your mom or your auntie or whoever takes care of you, that you, the bad things you've done with them, Jesus took that on himself and gave you his perfect sinless life so that you could be in this kingdom with him. It's a free ticket to get into his kingdom and to love him and be with him forever. How amazing is that? God created this whole world in a perfect way, but that we broke it because of our sin. Sin is when we do bad things to those that we love or bad things to the world that God created. When we do those things, when we, when we do anything that breaks God's law, it's considered sin. Adam and Eve, they ate a fruit. I don't know what fruit, but they ate a fruit. And, and, and that is something that God told them not to do, just the way he tells us not to do it. You ever dishonored your mom or your daddy or the person who takes care of you? Yeah. Well, God says don't do that. And when we do that, that is considered sin. But then what did he do? Well, we talked about that on day four. Emmanuel, God came from heaven to earth to be with us, to live with us. And he did everything perfect. Could you imagine that? Perfect. Never got a bad grade. Perfect. Always right. And he died for you and I to take on our bad things and give us all his perfectness so that you could have that key into his kingdom. And he invites you into that. That is the greatest treasure that you'll ever have right there, that you get that treasure of the kingdom of God. Now listen, over this week, you've talked about it, we've, we've prayed about it, we've gone through all the different things, and I want you to have the opportunity to step and say, I want that free ticket into God's kingdom right now. And so what I'm going to ask you to do is find uh, whoever takes care of you, whoever's with you right now, and tell them to come to the TV with you. And we want you to bow your heads and close your eyes and pray with me, repeat after me. And when you repeat after me, we want you to receive that free ticket into the kingdom. Are you ready? Here we go. Dear Jesus, I know I've done a lot of bad things. But I know that you're good. Holy. Righteous. Trustworthy. Give me your righteousness and take my sin. Help me to follow you in your rules, in your kingdom. Be my king forever. In your name we pray. Amen. Now listen, guys. It's not a magic potion, okay? But the way that we live our life is if he's our king, then we begin to live our life as if that's true right now. Because it is true. And there are angels in heaven that are celebrating the fact that you just pray that along with me. Now, whoever's taking care of you, if they're in the room, there's a number right below me. We want you to text that number to us right now and let us know, and let, let this know that somebody has prayed to receive Christ so we can follow up with you. We have resources we want to give you to help you out and continue on the this track to grow in your relationship with God. He loves you. He is the Emmanuel who came from heaven to earth to love you. He is your ruler king, and he is worthy of all your praise. It's the best decision you'll ever make in your life. It's the best decision I ever made in my life, and I can't wait 
Can't wait to see what God does with you. May God richly bless you, and I can't wait to see you soon. I'm so glad that you've joined us this week. Thank you so much.